We all want to work for God, but what to do for God? Have you decided yet? So I want to read to you a scripture from 1 Chronicles 4 verse 23, and it says, They lived there and worked for the king. I'm Pastor Richard Crompton from Word of Faith, and I've got a message for you today. You, a lot of us try and suggest stuff to God and tell God where we want to be and where we want to go, but that's because we don't understand how God works. Jesus is the king of all kings, and in the same way that, the, that David's warriors and his servants and his, and his ministers all served at his pleasure and his command. We serve for God's pleasure and his command. What is God telling you to do? You may not be very happy with what the king has told you to do, but if you are part of the kingdom, today you need to accept what the king wants you to do. Why? Because we're part of his kingdom. Will it work out for you well in the end? Yes. Because fortunately we have a benevolent, loving king that wants the best for us. But too often we resist the king and don't do what he's called us to do. We don't obey him and we must accept that the, we must do what the king wants in his kingdom. Let's be submissive to what God wants in our lives. I'm going to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, Lord, that you are going to help us, Father God, to accept who, who you want us to be and what you want us to do. I pray, Lord, that we will not resist your authority, but we will accept you as King of kings and Lord of lords in our lives. Amen.